Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, June 14th. The signs of the time are ominous. Watch ye saints with eyelids waking, lo the powers of heaven are shaking. Keep your lamps all trimmed and burning, ready for your Lord's returning. Lo, he comes, lo, Jesus comes. Lo, He comes, He comes, all glorious. Jesus comes to reign victorious. Lo, He comes, yes, Jesus comes. The signs of the time are ominous. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Second Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4 The world, full of rioting, full of godless pleasure, is asleep, asleep in carnal security. Men are putting afar off the coming of the Lord. They laugh at warnings. The proud boast is made. All things continue as they were from the beginning. Tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 12. We will go deeper into pleasure loving. But Christ says, Behold, I come as a thief. Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. At the very time when the world is asking in scorn, where is the promise of his coming? The signs are fulfilling. While they cry peace and safety, sudden destruction is coming. When the scorner, the rejecter of truth, has become presumptuous, when the routine of work in the various money-making lines is carried on without regard to principle, when the student is eagerly seeking knowledge of everything but his Bible, Christ comes as a thief. Everything in the world is in agitation. The signs of the times are ominous. Coming events cast their shadows before. The Spirit of God is withdrawing from the earth, and calamity follows calamity by sea and by land. There are tempests, earthquakes, fires, floods, murders of every grade. Who can read the future? Where is security? There is assurance in nothing that is human or earthly. Rapidly are men ranging themselves under the banner they have chosen. Restlessly are they waiting and watching the movements of their leaders. There are those who are waiting and watching and working for our Lord's appearing. Another class are falling into line under the generalship of the first great apostate. Few believe with heart and soul that we have a hell to shun and a heaven to win. The crisis is stealing gradually upon us. The sun shines in the heavens, passing over its usual round, and the heavens still declare the glory of God. Men are still eating and drinking, planting and building, marrying and giving in marriage. Merchants are still buying and selling. Men are jostling one against another, contending for the highest place. Pleasure lovers are still crowding to theaters, horse races, gambling hells. The highest excitement prevails, yet probation's hour is fast closing, and every case is about to be eternally decided. Satan sees that his time is short. He has set all his agencies at work that men may be deceived deluded, occupied, and entranced until the day of probation shall be ended and the door of mercy be forever shut. This passage was taken from the Desire of Ages, pages 635 and 636. Our Daily Bread, June 14th.
I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.